you need to watch this video if you're thinking about getting a thread lift. Hey guys, so today I wanted to jump on and talk to you all about the brow thread lift that I had, which is still healing. So I was sharing about the whole thing on my Instagram was getting lots and lots of questions. So I figured I'll just sit down and film a video. I figured that's the easiest way just to put all the information there. And when I like was getting the procedure done or like when I booked it in, I wasn't actually planning on like filming or doing anything for it. Um, so I don't have as much footage and stuff um, as I would have liked if I was planning it, but I'm just going to get roll with what I've got. So basically what I got done was like a non-surgical brow lift. So sometimes it's called like the fox eye lift or the ponytail lift or whatever. It's basically using these like threads they are basically just injected and in, into like your head and then pulled to lift your brows and face and yeah so that is basically what i had done i had i think three threads on either side um i am still healing so this isn't like the finished result i still sort of can't move them that much so i feel like i can't show as much like, expression on my face and yeah it's obviously still really bruised but basically i had the threads i think i had one going like straight back here to lift there and then i think i had two for my brow lifting yeah so that basically because i had really like hooded eyes um and now like my eyes aren't hooded so like, i can't wait to do like winged eyeliner when it heals but yeah it's basically i'll put in any photos and stuff that i have to sort of show before but it has just lifted up my whole face um which yeah is why i got it done um they are still a bit uneven as i said i am still healing this isn't the end result um so it's been just over a week now i think like a week and a day since i got it done and yeah it's just super bruised and still quite swollen and yeah i basically just got it done because i just wanted to that's like the simplest part of it i just always love when i get my brows laminated it feels like it just lifts up my whole face but yeah i still just felt like i having that sort of hoodedness right in like the corner of my eye just i just wanted to lift up my whole face um so this isn't like a permanent thing they said it sort of can last up to like 12 to 24 months so like one to two years so like it's not permanent I actually just thought well why not like try it and see I'm not obviously opposed to that sort of thing I've had like fillers and injections and all that stuff done before so I yeah just wanted to give it a try and yeah but I basically wanted to film this video just sort of sharing like what it was and my experience because I think I like I knew what I was getting into but I didn't really understand I don't think I didn't know how much it would actually like how intense it actually was I feel like ever I've seen it's like marketed like just yeah it's a non-surgical thing it's like non-invasive it's sort of like you're in and out no recovery time or like you know just that sort of thing but I think it's actually like a lot more intense than that so I just sort of wanted to share my experience and I guess just yeah sort of give a bit of like a reality to what it actually is so basically how the procedure is done to the best of my knowledge they firstly they inject um like the numbing what's it called like anesthetic they like inject into where they're going to be putting the threads so um and that actually really hurt because obviously when they're doing that it hasn't been numb yet so like they did like one two three one two three on either side and that was just really like just uncomfortable feeling and then yeah and then it just feels weird once that sort of kicks in and then yeah when they like inject then the thread through it's the weirdest feeling because you literally like feel it like it's like you can feel it it just doesn't hurt because it's like numb but you can actually feel like thread like literally imagining like cotton thread so i'm not sure where they actually then pull it from because i think they only inject in there i don't know but basically what i felt is they inject and then literally like, i can like feel the thread pulling like feel them pull it um and it just states it's like that um so yeah the whole like procedure i think i only took like around half an hour or so and then yeah when i left like i was like bleeding quite a bit from my like injection site so they just sort of put tape on that and i was already a bit swollen and um but yeah it was weird because everything was like numb and because it sort of goes back into your head like my head like all like around here was all like numb and it just felt really weird um and they gave me a prescription for like painkillers um they said sort of if i need it so i got them on my way home i was like just in case I was still feeling kind of numb and then it was like an hour or two that started to wear off and the pain came 
it like just yeah so that's why i just like took some neurofin to start off with because i was like i don't want to do like this really strong painkillers unless i need to but i had them as a backup and then yeah then the pain like it just kept getting so bad i yeah took two of the prescription like painkiller things and um i think that like numbed the pain a bit yeah but then i started like to feel really sick and i don't know if it was from the pain or like the medication i think probably a mix of both but i was like so 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 sick sick in my stomach i was like trying to force down something for dinner but i just felt so sick and i basically couldn't keep everything down i had a nice big vom um and then yeah i was just in so much pain i actually slept a lot better that night than i thought i would and i did feel a lot better when i woke up the next morning but like when i say a lot of pain like i was at that point i was literally just sitting thinking to myself what am i like it was almost to the point where I'm like, I actually can't handle this. Like I was so close to like getting my mom and saying, mom, like take me to the hospital. I need to just, I need them to like knock me out because I can't handle this pain. Obviously I could handle it and I did, but it was brutal. It was more painful than my LASIK eye surgery. Like it just was so bad. Um, but yeah, as I said, the next day I was feeling a lot better, still in a lot of pain. Um, and then sort of, it's sort of just been each day as I've woken up, it's, hurt a little bit less and the swelling has gone down a little bit but i think it was after like four days also that's when the bruising set like the bruising wasn't straight away that only came after like four days um it's the bruising's gone down a lot now but it's just like yellow um and you can kind of still see like from where i was like injected like just under my brows but it was really weird too because when the swelling sort of here started to go down it sort of then went to like my cheeks so it looked like i had like cheek filler like i sort of had that very like over the top overdone like cheek look and that was kind of weird but I, again i was sort of just rolling with it but it's really weird because i can like sort of move my brows but sort of couldn't but whenever like i would move my brows i could feel it like going back in my head like it was just the weirdest thing because obviously like the threads came like in there but like it always felt like i was wearing a wig because there was like the movement or whatever of the muscles like just under my like scalp so it felt like i was wearing a wig it still kind of does because there's like that's been that disruption like underneath so that kind of feels really weird um sleeping i've sort of i've got this like banana pillow so i've sort of been sleeping on my neck because it hurts like on my sides because obviously here is really sore but it is also really sore like in my head because as i said i think they've like injected right back into there so like that's been really painful as well and yeah stuff like this like i just didn't know like they sort of just said oh like it's gonna you know be a bit swollen and like a bit painful and stuff but actually like obviously everyone reacts to things differently i just was not prepared that it was going to be like so intense because they're like oh like it's a non-surgical thing like less invasive but i think like it's still pretty invasive like it's extreme um but i am really really happy with how the results are like already i know like it's gonna start to look a bit more natural and stuff as it heals but um yeah i'm sort of just taking it day by day i feel like it's just gonna be all of a sudden one day it's like oh it's healed but um yeah i still feel like it's gonna be weird like when i'm editing this knowing that like i feel like i can't show emotion from like here up because it's all still very like stiff and but once it sort of starts to heal it'll sort of loosen up and i guess the skin will sort of stretch again and be able to move a bit more naturally like i am really glad that i got it done and i think i just wish i had have known how intense it was before going into it um just so i could <laughs> mentally prepare a bit more because yeah the fact that it's been like over a week now and i am still in pain i mean it's tolerable but it's yeah it's just the weirdest feeling like it all just feels so tight and like yeah it's like intense but um yeah i'm really curious like, i'll see how long it lasts and stuff and yeah i just want them to be even because i feel like this one's still like a bit up but yeah but yeah i think i'm just gonna like stop now i think i've said everything that i sort of wanted to leave me any questions if i haven't covered anything down below but basically to sum it up i had threads injected into my face and pulled up to lift up my eye i got it done because i wanted to it's not permanent it will last one to two years it was very painful very intense i don't regret it i did at the time that night that first night i thought i was gonna die um but no it's yeah just something i was like why not obviously i not everyone feels the same about cosmetic procedures each to their own i'm not telling everyone to go get it done if you want to get it done get it done it's your body and yeah i will talk to you guys soon